What an amazing industry we operate in. Less than 100 years ago, the average American farmer fed 16 people. Today that number totals 143 as we work to not only feed the citizens of the United States, but also the 96% of the world's population that lives outside of this country and has an increasing demand for protein. Regardless though, animal care and animal well-being is of utmost importance to every farmer across this country. We asked our panel of experts a simple question. If they could send a message to consumers about animal care, what would it be? Here's what they had to say. Listen carefully and you'll see how important this issue is to every farmer that raises livestock. One message that I would send consumers about animal welfare is to find the truth. Find a farmer, maybe it's their neighbor, maybe it's their friend's neighbor because they don't have a farmer neighbor, and go talk to them about what agriculture is really about and how our Michigan farmers are committed to providing safe food and producing it in a way that is caring for not only the land and the environment but also that animal and the product that they produce. I would have a very similar message to consumers. Be patient, keep your mind open, be sure that you look at both sides of an issue. That means you're going to have to do some digging other than opening the newspaper and reading the popular opinion column. Uh, and that you ask questions and you go right to a source if you have the opportunity to do it, to ask a question about the care of animals. Um, I think both sides uh, need some time sitting at the table and being able to make those types of quality exchanges. Now whether it means that you have some public forum for people uh, to, from the community to come to your farm or come to a producer meeting or to be able to interact with folks who are actually in the field working uh, and producing food products for people every day. But I'd say you have to open the doors and you have to be transparent and you have to be willing to talk honestly with people about what you do and why you do it. And I think people by and large are fairly uh, appreciative, appreciative of that. And I think consumers ought to be able to return the courtesy to farmers and ranchers as well. You know, I enjoy the work that I do, but I recognize that we're just part of the whole universe in terms of, of uh, food production and how we fit into things. And uh, I hope the consuming public will recognize that we produce food and we produce animals for food. And protein is a needed part of our diet. And uh, that's basically you know, not only is it a, a thing I enjoy, but it, it I think, is a, an important process in the, the way our, our economic and our food production system works. Animal welfare is an issue that we all need to be concerned about and involved in. And if you think the issue is only happening far from Michigan, all we need to do is realize that recent activities at Michigan State University have caused the university to set in place a policy that sets forth the guidelines for the utilization of animals in entertainment and show activities. And this isn't just about livestock. We all need to be concerned. Whether it's the cropping industry, the fruit and vegetable industry, or the entire agribusiness industry. It's time that we all work together, because when they're done with the livestock industry, where do you think they're headed next? It's time that we stand up, show up, speak up, and work together. On behalf of all of us at Michigan Farm Bureau, I'm Ernie Birchmeyer. And remember, the world is run by those who show up, and if you're not at the table, you're on the menu. Thanks for joining us for this special edition of FB Update.